Hello there, everybody. So, Butter92, aka Nightmare, and finally, welcome to a let's play of AI, the Somnium Files. I know jack shit about this, other than that it's Spike Chunsoft, uh, you know, affiliated, and oh, this looks interesting for an interface. Okay, my buddy Ardith, um, gave me a bit of an idea for, like, some of the sound effects here, so let's boost up. That fantastic sound effect. Bring down the BGM by one. And let's see. Sound effects by two. All right. Thank you very much for that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, cursor speed. I think I should be fine. That's actually a pretty wicked, um, huh. That is actually a, oh, sorry about that. That's actually a very interesting little, um, cursor. I kind of like the way it looks. Vertical camera, horizontal camera, text display, okay. So there's skip mode. All right, uh, okay, good, all right. Let's stick with this then. Anyway, I know jack shit about this other than it was highly recommended. And needless to say, I'm actually quite excited to get started into this. So let's finally begin. But yes, this is the game that's going to replace Ace Attorney for right now since we finished the first game and I want to try to keep myself relatively fresh for that particular series because there's quite a lot of games apparently and it was recommended for a very optimal experience that I play at least one game between each installment and the visuals are making me think that there was somebody that spiked my coffee and I am convinced that somebody probably spiked my coffee. Alright, let's do this! English, preferably. Starting game with selecting language. Language not be. That's fine. This game supports autosave. When the save icon is displayed in the bottom right, do not close the game. Don't tell me what to do! This story is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of the author's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual person living there that sort of like is entirely coincidental. <sighs> okay. Bring it. What do we have here? Is that an umbrella? For a tent? Huh. Oh, it's a carousel. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Hmm. I person, lady that strapped to that? Oh, that's blood. Arr oh. Something tells me you're not alive. With your... Looking like your eye got gouged out. AI, the Somnium file. Oh, by the way, thumbnail was created by Nerte. It looks utterly fantastic. Please be sure to go, you know, check out the description so you can check out some of her work, please. I would appreciate that. Day one, Friday. Sig AI. Sigai. I think it's Sig AI. Bloom Park, Friday, 10.54 p.m. Okay. Press something? Oh, oh I had to, oh I had to press a button, okay. Okay. Oh, 
Investigate. What the hell is that adorable little creature? Investigation. During investigations, the main character, Date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Okay, so... Okay, cool, cool. Auto, log, and menu. Ooh! The menu contains a number of functions such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. A flowchart? Oh, it is going to be similar to friggin' 999, isn't it? This game will auto save, but you can also save manually with save. If you would like to end the game, you can turn to the tile screen with top menu in the up top right of the corner, or the screen. You mean the literal power button? A story time chart. Jump to another part of the story using the flow chart. How big is this flow chart, I wonder? You can check the story's progress and branching points with flow chart. This will be filled out as the story advances. By selecting a chapter and investigation progress, you can jump to any point in the story. Ooh. Begin investigation, reopen invest. Oh, here we go. A, a cold and rainy Friday night in November. The body of a woman was discovered at the merry-go-round in the abandoned amusement park known as Bloom Park. The corpse was bound and displayed on one of the horses. Is that it? So. Oh. Okay. Options. File. Detailed files of key phrases and characters. Ooh. File allows you to read information about people you've spoken to or terms you've heard. It's updated as the story advances. Persons. Date. Name, Kaname Date. Age 30, birthday, August 3rd. 12 days away from my birthday. So close. Profession. Police Officer of Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. Metropolitan Police Department. Likes. Classic cars. Curry. Benito. Pelvises. Raika, Raika, pelvis. Okay. Dislikes soft-boiled eggs, punk kids, and ghosts. Hobbies: collects vintage magazines. Skills: reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. Hmm. Overview: As a sinker, Date uses the sink machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. He lost his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye which houses an advanced artificial intelligence known as an AI ball. He also lost all of his memories past six years ago. Huh. Aiba. Name, or, a, uh, AI ball. Sex, female, according to the settings. Age five, birthday, November 9th. Oh, that's little booger. He looks so cute. Profession. Investigating. Investigation assistant. Likes insects, spiders, crustaceans. 101000001110101. Anybody that speaks binary? Can, can I'm curious. Dislikes. Dirty jokes. Going outside the simulation. Can you exit? Mm. Getting a lot of terms here. Maybe I shouldn't have come back over here and read some of this stuff, but I kind of want to. Hobbies. Sneaks outside of Date's eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief. That's adorable. Skills. Hacking. Fluoroscopy. Voice imitation. 3D modeling. Overview. Aiba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Date's left eye socket. She assists Date by gathering information, connecting to the networks and databases, and using her X-ray and thermographic functions. Hot damn, she's got X-ray! Hello, boss? Designation, boss. Female, age 42, December 21st. Uh, commander of ABIS, the special investigation team of the Metropolitan Police Department. Likes wine, gourd dolls, anything black. Dislikes, happy families, ex-boyfriends, MPD's director, and decluttering and organizing. You don't like happy families? That's just... Hmm. Hobbies, going to clubs and kabukicho. Skills. Grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. You scare me already. 
Overview Boss is Date's direct superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude, but she's as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. But that's all I've got. Appendix. Who we got? Ah, here we go. Tips? Oh, oh, this is basically the... Ah, this is literally the uh, stuff that I've already... Hmm? Not this stuff, though. Choices and look. When speaking to a person, look will be displayed along with conversation choices. Pick the choice you want Date to say. Choosing look will allow you to inspect the person. Conversations. When you finish talking about a certain subject, new choices may be available. You may be able to obtain important information by selecting the right choices. Okay. You can also use the log to view the conversation so far. Aiba's special modes. During the story, you can obtain information using Aiba's special vision modes. The modes change depending on the situation. Map and movement. When you are able to move locations, the map appears on the bottom right of the screen. Open the map from map to pick and change your location. Okay. Album. Okay. Oh, that, wait. Oh, that is cool. I just noticed that. Like, his, it looks like it, whenever, whenever we're getting ready to switch modes, his eye closes. That's cool. All right, before I do anything, let's just casually uh, do this. That is a very, that sounded incredibly familiar for a sound effect. All right, um... Hi, boss. Barrier. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use a yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. Hmm. Hologram barrier. Well, there's still yellow caution tape over there. Uh, skewered horse. A horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. Well, I guess it was a good idea. I tried going for a deeper voice for me. This is not a message from the criminal. Hello! The park was already in this state before the crime. Thank you, Isla. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Damn teenagers! Uh, okay, I was told that it, um, there's a certain color that I gotta watch out for in terms of getting like exhausted dialogue. I believe Ardith's new stuff is in green text and it grays out once I'm done. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got it. The horse is pierced upside down. It looks almost pitiful. It's a bench. That's a damn fine bench. Policeman. Choices and look. When you speak to a person, you'll be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Uh, look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Ooh, cool. I call her boss. She runs ABIS, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Rain is, this rain is awful, huh? It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. Huh. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Copycat? From the case six years ago. Hmm. The case six years ago? Does it have something to do with my lost memories? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. And something tells me that's the case. A case six years ago? So, what am I doing here? Are you serious? No, I'm Sabata. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm Date. You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Oh, you <laughs> Abyss, I get it. <laughs> I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. 
But tonight it is. Hmm. Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? Do I? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. Because of course they were. I'll give you the details later. Alright. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. I think log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Alright. What can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Nadami Shoko. What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Right now, she's standing in the pouring rain with her umbrella up. <clears throat> okay. Bench. The panda ride looks lonely. The parasol is getting pelted by the rain. I think I've already examined those. Voice is pierced upside down. Looks almost pitiful. Yeah. Weed. This rain is depressing. Has it been like this all day? The old Ferris wheel's over there. Feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Eyes are going to be a very heavy theme in this, isn't it? I have no complaint. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. This place has been closed for like eight years, huh? There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Hmm. Inspector. That's the police. Local cop. There we go. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Inspector. How's it going? Gonna go on. What's your name? Thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. I wanna be I wanna be polite first. What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. Hey, don't worry about it. What's your name, buddy? It's Kagami, sir. Kagami. Alright. I can ask him what his name is again? Okay, um, anything to go on? Not yet, sir. It. It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Do it again? Kagami. Are you serious? It's Kagami! I'm sorry! <laughs> An inspector from Metro. I'll be finds a lead. What's your name? I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. Keep going. His name is... Uh... What was it again? Hey, what'd you say your name was? <laughs> Do I have like a terrible... I must have terrible memory if I can't memorize people's names. Hey. Hello? Hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name? Yes. <laughs> Oh god, I'm a dick. 
Right now, she's staying in the porn with her umbrella up. Oh my god, I am a, I am a fucking dick. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> it's the main column holding up the roof. The body is mounted on one of the horses. Should get a better look. Took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? What was your name again? I haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. <sighs> Allow me to assist you. Hey. Ooh, hello. That's Iva. Her official design designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. An eye for an eye. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Nice. Iba's vision modes. While playing through the story, Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain information. You can you you can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. Controls. You can also view the controls with that button. Move sight. AI. Oh, okay. So I just do this. Or not. Oh, cool. Abyss, Advanced Brain S Investigation Squad. A special classified division of the Metropolitan Police Department, tasked with conducting criminal investigations by understanding and penetrating the human mind. They are stationed six floors underneath. MPD headquarters. Do you know of their existence even among police? Uh-huh. Got ah, jurisdiction. An area over which a police department has authority and responsibility. For example, if an incident occurred in Tokurazawa, that would be under the jurisdiction of the Tokurazawa Police Department. Okay. Oh, I gotta hit both of them, don't I? I have his vision modes. I probably have to hit both of the buttons to access it. All right, uh. Not work. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Zoom! Hmm. That's pretty interesting to say the least. Left eye. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? You mean like my left eye, which is surprisingly gold? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Crows can do that. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. That's fucked up carved it out while she was still alive correct that is uh really bugged up pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead i imagine multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso cause of death blood loss from these wounds you have an exact shape on what the murder weapon was? If anything, we can just easily assume that it was a knife or, or some sort of bladed weapon. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Hmm. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Hmm. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. 
That was a gunshot. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Inside the column? The noise came from inside. Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. All right. Oh, there's somebody in here. I swear, that sound effect sounded like a damn gunshot. <sighs> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up, Kagami! Shut up! Oh my god, okay. I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hmm. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. That's a wicked looking gun. Somebody's Mizuki. got a weapon. Mizuki. Hmm. Got blue hair. Oh, hello. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Skeleton! Uh... Uh... What? Where do I even start with this? That's exactly what I'm wondering. I can answer all of your queries. Can you please stop doing that? Alright then. Who Thank are you. you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Huh? Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly how I would put it, but now I can't unsee it. What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. I don't remember doing such. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Okay. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. Why are we having this conversation if I'm just gonna forget it? I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. Must be because I'm sleeping right now. So, things that I should know, I can't remember. It is all fuzzy. Not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? Nope. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? <laughs> Somnium scan. Activate. Whoa. Uh. Hmm. Got it. 
Got what? Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. So it's AI the dream files? My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Oh, excuse me! Huh? I'm kind of sleeping right now. In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Okay. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Yeah, especially with the way the walls are undulating like that. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Not hey. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Wake Date up. Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. Sinking in the brain. I see what they did with the AI there. Insomnia. You explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Uh, Somnium. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Aiba closer to the door and investigate. Wait, I got control of her now? Huh. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so turn on the light. Like a light switch over here. The door. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Aiba instructions. For now, have Aiba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. But my hand won't even connect with the doorknob. Oh wow, I just realized she's got like little vein. You can, she's got like see-through hands there. I just now noticed that. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. Got that right. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. And uh, how do we explain the skeleton in his dream? Is that supposed to be actual Date? My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. Yes, ma'am. Date, look at that. What was that? The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? I don't like that smile, Date. Don't forget that I have a veto. Objects to investigate. In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Oh, there's two things over here, actually. A winter Iris. A winter Iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. It looks quite pretty. A flower with a woman's name. I'ma smell it. 
Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Pantomiming? Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. What? suction bravo marvelous what are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams you fucking shot up her nose you were able to touch it correct so i just need to keep this up something like that how are you okay that was weird that was incredibly weird you can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions has now advanced your progress. Reach the end to clear the Somnium. Now view the controls and the... Okay. Anything else in here that I can look at? Not seeing anything. A switch. The thorns are gone. Oh, good! Now I can activate the switch. Hmm? Oh. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. Ooh, that looks pretty over there. I would rather be sleeping. All right. Unlocks mental lock number one. Turned on the light. You unlock the turn on the light mental lock. But there's another mental lock in the Insomnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide to open the door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu, File, and Appendix. Okay. Wine! Nah. Standing lamp in a basket. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Quite pretty. K kick it? <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, lift up. It won't move. Oh. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. Sure. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. <laughs> Tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. <laughs> a lamp. It looks like a rose. Okay, um... But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. A sibling, family me just a family member in general, or? Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Yeah. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That looks kind of dirty. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> what the hell, Date? Shut up. A lamp. Uh, kick it. <laughs> Ow! You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check out this basket. A basket? I cannot see inside it. Uh, uh wear it? Uh, let's look at it first. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Random? Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. Yeah. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Huh. What? Wait, no, let me... 
There was other options. Damn it. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we got. A glass of wine. Hmm. No, last time I smelled, I shot a plant right up my nose. I'm not falling for it this time. Investigate. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Burgonia. I wonder Burgonia? if that trivia will ever prove useful. Burgonia. Better to be prepared. A glass of wine. Can an AI sip? Leave it to me. Hey. No, oh, she's chugging it. <sighs> I feel kind of good. Did I just get an AI drunk? Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Dante diss me all the time? <laughs> what? Oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Aw, oh, damn it, there was still another one. Hmm. I gotta say, this is very wicked. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Similar to the corpse, and similar to Date, who I'm assuming his left eye is the one that has his AI. Unless it was already explained, in which case I'm a freaking idiot because I just forgot that detail. Which I think that, I, I, yeah, I think that's pretty much the case. This whole thing is just gonna be left eye related. Hit! Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi! Yeah! Ow. W what? I have a look. The wall. Uh. Did I do it bad? Oh! <laughs> I just did it bad. an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Can't prove it. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Hmm? Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hmm. Boss is sleep talking. Ignite him. Insomnia. Only one somewhere. I can't eat more. I'm stuffed. That was boss, the, the woman. I gave her a manly voice. You know, I might as well just give her the Morgana at this rate. Oh, that's pleasant. There's a gun. A gun came out of the skull? <laughs> it's got a key shape! Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Well, what? Who did you hear that from? A gun. Uh, pick it up. It won't go off? Eh, it should be fine. Huh. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Please don't point that gun at me. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. Uh, okay, she's got a gun. It's in her hands now. Okay, cool, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there was a map here. You can see your current location and objects you've investigated on your Somnium map. If you are lost or want to save time, try checking the map. Huh. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, this could come in handy if I ever decide to use it. Oh, right. I should probably do this before I forget. There we go. All right. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in keyhole. I don't want to shoot. Shoot. Leave it to me. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors. Just pull the trigger. What? What? You got lucky. It, 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 okay. A door locked with a padlock. What? Guns and roses. Okay. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose. So, bitch, it worked. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key to help us escape. Thank you, Date. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. Huh. I'll open it. Okay. Hello! Who art thou? Apparently a killer you are. Well, I got a glimpse of your face, sort of. Ooh. Oh, achievement unlocked. Brain! Memories hidden in dreams. Cool. Dude, this is trippy as fuck. Day two, Saturday. Say guy. Police headquarters, Saturday, nine twenty-one a.m. Hmm. Uh, hi. Good morning, Date. Nice office. I was waiting for you. Huh. <laughs> this is a hell of an office. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Okay. Chair. Never would have guessed that was a chair. Shelves. Shelves. The entrance. Is that wine? <clears throat> there are wine bottles lined up. A tombstone. Rest in peace. Cabinet. Police officer mannequin. The police officer Have mannequin. Have met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. Huh? He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. <laughs> yeah, me too. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. Excuse me? This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Oh! Volleyball. It's a volleyball. 
Soccer ball. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Used to play soccer? So, boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. Can I look at the easel? Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to. The flag with big catch on it. Soba! Sorry, sorry. A soba restaurant door curtain. I freak out whenever I see my name everywhere. Pumpkin. A pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? I mean... I'd say Bill O'Lantern doesn't really sound all that good, but... Actually, wait, Bill O'Lantern? I guess that could kind of work. Sorry, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> okay, happy birthday banner? Happy birthday banner decoration. That birthday party was a while ago, though. Maybe she just really likes it. Bookshelf. It's full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. Got book, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What does she do in here? Question. Coffee! I can't live without coffee. You and me too, honey. I love it smooth and dark. Eh, I'm kind of a... That I am kind of the same, although I definitely like putting in some creamer in there. It makes it extra smooth. Hm. Always amused by boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. What if she does it on purpose? Smooth and dark, I don't. Oh. That, uh. That, that took me a minute to guess. Or figure out. I, um. I, I am, I am actually very dumb. Chair. Hmm. Something that you would set your foot on, but I guess not. Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. There are? Holy shit, there is! And of course, I'm not allowed to examine them. Darts machine. An electric darts game. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Fair enough. Fair point. Fair point. Everybody needs a dartboard whenever the world's going to shit. Skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called the Spur? No, but can you give me information on it? Wait. Spur. <clears throat> I swear to God, was that murder a spur of the moment? Triangle ruler. I forgot to read that. A snowboard. A police poster. Why? A boy band poster? <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Boss is single, by the way. Lifesaver. There's a lot of stuff to examine here. A symbol. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. Eh, I can kind of understand why, but I can never handle the sound, even though I was in band for like eight years. A stationary bike for indoor training. I need to get me one of those. God, that would make things so much better for me. Hey, why do you have a decapitated head in here? A plaster figure. Rug. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? 10 billion yen. You're kidding. What are you, in elementary school? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I really doubt that thing's worth 10 billion. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. She gets it! She actually gets it. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. Oh, shit. A police poster. Can I? Oh, I thought I, I okay, never mind. I am um, cabinet. That's my grandpa's death mask. Excuse me? 
guy had a huge face. No shit! Mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. Map. Map on the wall. Public bath dorker. You have so much clutter! Shit, you make my bedroom look nice! Public bath door curtain. How the fuck did you pull that off? Tenant. A souvenir from some rural town? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Uh. I don't think there's anything else. Oh. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. Uh, uh. Is that a Matroshka doll? Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matroshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. Smallest one, like a child. That's oddly sad and depressing. Thank you for that. That's the real me. Large key. Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. How so? My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read as Kaname. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I'm looking around and making sure that there's nothing else that I, uh... I don't think there's anything else that I missed. Well, I'm pretty sure I've seen everything in here. You think Except it's that. true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Uh. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. I don't normally look up Tanuki ball sacks or anything. If it's uh, so, um, um, the broom is leaning against the wall. I, yeah. Um, okay, that was weird. How you doing, boss? About the case 60 years ago. See, so you still haven't cleaned this place up. What's the status of the investigation? About Mizuki. He's sitting on the desk casually. Uh. Who do you think I am, Date? Boss? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so. Trust me, it's been more than six years. Oh. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently. Fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Huh. Uh... I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. Oh, we were that was able the ice to pick. identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. Ah, damn it. <sighs> damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. Let's see. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. So it's the murder weapon. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. See. About the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. Yeah. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Oh, good. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? 
It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Current residence, body bag. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Thank you, Aiba. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Wait, Mizuki is Shoko's daughter? Hmm. Let's see. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. Haven't they, have they questioned Renju yet? I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? I guess so. Since you don't have a cell phone. Why don't I have a cell phone? I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Um... About the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. You know something, and you're deliberately hiding it from me. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yeah. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. How so? So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Freaking give me information, goddammit! I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Why? Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. Hey! But why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. It was that bad, huh? Oh, like you're le- oh, you mean like you're legally not allowed to say it? If that's how you want to interpret it. <sighs> Give it a rest, Date. No! You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. But- Why would you- but... This isn't harassment. Or sexual. Exactly! <laughs> I can make it sexual. Uh... Uh, no. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. Shut up, Iva! I can detect your thoughts, remember. Thank you for your input, Iva. Where do you think you are, Agent? Office? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Holy sh... Oh, well then. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. Oh. I thought you were just a hoarder. This makes much more sense. It's like a party, right? <laughs> I want it to feel fun in here. I can appreciate that. I can definitely appreciate that. Okay, about Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. I imagine. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Oh, so, okay, okay. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian, then. Guess so. No, she just lives with me. Oh! Mizuki Okura. The girl we found the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. 
Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. About Renju Okura. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. Hmm. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Fair enough. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention, an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. Yeah. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. Huh. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. Hmm. Wouldn't that count as suspicious? Or maybe he was... No, maybe he really was just busy. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Hmm. Did we ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Yeah, right. Unfortunately, not yet. Do they know the, the voice? Like... Evidence of male or female sounding? What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. <sighs> it's always a goddamn payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. That is a possibility. Iba, what are you doing? Uh! Uh. Oh my god. Oh, it's cute! That's adorable. God, warn me whenever you want to pop out of my face. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. <laughs> that is so adorable. Well, still. Oh. Dude, look at my head. This is normal. Totally normal. Okay, this is wild. Hey, Iba, how's it going? Wait. Oh my goodness. About my eye. Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. About eye. I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me. Am I really me? Good question. Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. But I want the answers. How dare you? Uh, Iva. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Who did? Get Pewter to tinker with her. Pewter? Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Huh. Hey, what does love mean to you? What? <laughs> okay. Where is this coming from? My question. Just answer the question. Huh. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? It is? That's a, that's, that's, I like that. That's a pun. Shit, she figured me out. I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. But I am a dork. Hey, love, how you doing? 
Is that a serious question? It's a question. We've been partners for five years. Oh my god, I can move my head during conversations! You know who I am. I didn't know I could do that. You know, you are kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. <laughs> so, am I cute or not cute? That is the question. I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. <laughs> Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You are looking a little pudgy. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. He's got a visor and a cape! Yes! You may call her Iva. I love your fashion sense! The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. The Wadget System? Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. Now grit your teeth, I'm going to shove this in your skull. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Huh. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Huh. Okay, really now, what's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. Oh yeah? To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. Hey! I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. You did? Huh? You have? Ow! Okay, come back inside. No. Hey! I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. God damn. <laughs> oh god, I love this already. I found the payphone that the caller used. Oh? It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Hmm. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. Oh, hell yeah! That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Who is it? Oh my god, who was it? Ota Matsushita. Looks like a kid! Matsushita, Ota. 24 years old. Male. You don't look 24. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Alright, get back in my head. When you're able to visit a new destination, map will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu, File, and Appendix. But, I believe that is a good place for us to go ahead and stop for right now. Okay, I, so far I am actually liking what I am seeing and, uh, hmm, I, I'm, I'm still, it's still kind of early but I am already really liking like the interface is very interesting it's it's 3d models and from what i from the two gameplay styles that i saw it seems like through date we get the investigation the investigation and through um iba it feels like we have much more actual interaction with what we're doing 
I'm wondering how the mental locks are actually going to play into this story because I already have like an idea that if we go through the mental locks we'll be able to recover like the memories that Date kind of lost or the past six years of memories so definitely looking forward to that I wonder if we're also ever gonna learn what the boss's name is I'm hoping that's at least one of the memories and already I'm trying to figure out how we can prove that it wasn't Mizuki that killed her mother. Usually whenever somebody's in a life or death situation, sometimes they will grab the nearest thing that they can use as a weapon, even if said weapon could turn out to be an actual murder weapon. Or the murder weapon in question that was used, which would explain why her prints are even on there in the first place, or why she was holding it. She probably grabbed it just to protect herself. Second. As for why those were only her fingerprints, possibility, the culprit was wearing gloves. I mean, that's, I would say that would probably be the easiest way to describe, to, you know, just explain that. As for what I'm liking so far, Iba's weird. But she's enjoyable. She's very enjoyable. I'm starting to notice quite a few of the puns that the game's trying to throw at me now. <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> I, I mean, hell, you can already see it right now. Sig uh, AI and Psych uh, AI. Sig hi. Yeah. Yeah. We're... There's gonna be a lot of AI jokes in this. I mean, hell, I didn't even get the AI that AI translates to love. I feel incredibly dumb that that didn't even click in my head. Oh boy. I am looking forward to seeing what else we got going on here. So, if you all are as excited as I am for this, be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will definitely see all of you in the next video.